Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Start Your Bastard. Today I'm going to show you how you test a Hall Effect sensor. Uh, can, it's used in cars as a cam sensor or a crank sensor or even in some cases a speed sensor. Um, I hooked up the, wire, the, the probes of the multimeter here to the wiring and I put it basically on uh, there's a numbering on here one and two and uh, there's a, there's a, this is a free pin so I put it on number one and two and I'm going to put it first on millivolts and I'm going to take an ordinary spanner that most of you know and take the sensor and it's got this little magnet magnet on that side and I'm going to start moving it over it and you'll see on the multimeter I've got readings there, it's fluctuating. That's showing me that this sensor is healthy. Next, I'm going to put it on ohms. Um, that's just to verify your first test and to know to, to you know to clear it out so you don't end up being a guinea pig buying a sensor which somebody told you is defective or you thought it's defective. You ended up buying uh, something that they are not quite cheap, they're expensive. Um, so save you, to save your money, this is a way just to get, you know, 100% sure that this is the actual problem. Because you will one day drive and the engine light goes on. This can be one of the causes. Now on the diagnostic, it picks up its crank sensor related or cam sensor related or different other codes that can di direct you in the direction of a defective cam sensor or a problem on the wiring loom which is also some cases that are found um, through over a period of time that it's not always the sensor that's the culprit um, so on ohms i'm going to move the spanner also close to it you can even touch it a bit and you'll see there it is a fluctuation and that ol that shows the shows open circuit that's supposed to be happening so you've got a healthy crank sensor here. Right, to come to the wiring, you're going to see, uh, you're going to make sure that you get the right uh, uh, voltage from the wiring, the, the, the plug that plugs into your sensor, that comes from the car's harness. So, on number one, you're going to have the positive, which is 12 volt, you're going to have your earth, which is number two, and you're going to have number three, which is your signal wire, which is sending also, that's also a way to test it, you just move it on to number three, any one of the probes, and you're going to get signal wire, uh, that's going to give you a measurement of only five volts, so you can't go and put 12 volts, or do any connection into the wiring harness, because there's a lot of wires like this, that's 5 volt and not 12 volt, you're going to blow the ECU. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, you got to identify wires and then if you, you don't have to know which color goes where. If you take a multimeter and you measure, you put the plus on this side, um, the negative of the, the multimeter, the black probe, you put on the negative of the wire of the battery and you get a reading of 12 volt, the same as the battery's voltage and here the other way around you put in the black probe on the, the plug and you put the red wire onto the earth side of the or the positive side of the battery you're also going to get a reading of 12, it's going to say on the multimeter minus 12 and on the other way you must get a, a, a signal of 5 volts or below even 4.9 something will are still sufficient so that's why you want to make sure that it's not maybe a, a wire that got broken off or a lot of times the terminals they get they get in a way that the wires are not touching them anymore they got brittle so you're going to make sure you got the right voltages here and if you don't have it yet then obviously the problem is not the crank sensor or the the cam sensor it's in the end of the day on the wiring loom if there's no 5 volt coming from this wire up to if you you trace it back to the computer box the the, the ecu um, and it's not coming 5 volts from there you know it's a ecu related problem and you're most probably going to take it to your auto electrician just to verify that but make sure you get the right voltage and the 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 wire identification has been done right before you decide 
you know it's the gang sensor after you've tested the gang sensor make sure also that it's coming from there right that will be all then see you next time cheers